I don't care for Captain Reed. So. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. All people need oh. love too! More! Lunch Break! This episode of Lunch Break is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence for you and your business. It's lunch break, it's Thursday, Ooh. we're back. We got a full table. We do. Our plus one for Tay is Connie and she requested Chinese food. Thanks Connie, Ooh. pull up a chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's hang out. And today on lunch break, Wang Fu, the collective four here, are gonna find our favorite Asian characters in media in recent memory. That's tough. We know so many of them. I don't want, we're gonna offend someone. No, no, this is no offense. It's all in good fun. So we put a theme around it and it's around who you want to be stuck on an island with. So, okay. It's not exactly who's the best, who's our favorite. Mm -hmm. It's a very specific situation. Is right. It, yes. Is it also based on like their character, not them as a person? Yeah, you're yes, gonna go off their character. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, character. Character. So, it's no reflection of the movie. It's about, you know, what you remember from them, yeah. what you understand. There's only uh, like 16 people or characters in this bracket so there's a lot of other characters that we like we kind of narrowed it down to so clearly it's already a little bit of bias okay mm -hmm. anyway so we have four categories the asian supporting characters in movies and then another category you have the fighters oh and then you have parents <clears throat> the best fighters actually and then you have romantic leads. There's fighters with your fists and fighters with your heart. Right. But essentially we're finding the top within each category and that's going to be like our core the people that we would want to be on the island with and right. of those four you're going to find a number 1. Oh, right? This is going to be tough man. Quadrant one, supporting characters. The first head-to-head -head matchup is John Cho from Wish Dragon. His character name's Long. And Sisu from Raya. Oh, oh my god. That's great. The dragon against dragon. They're like the <laughs> ultimate hype men and hype women and hype dragons. Really? Actually, I already got it. Well, you were in one of the movies. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that be a bias. You're right, I had two sentences mm -hmm. in Wish Dragon. The way I see it, it's Sisu easy. is Sisu. Oh no, I was gonna Ooh, say Long. Long is limited in his in, like powers because he has to be commanded Mm -hmm. Up to three times. That's true. After the three are done, like, is he still able to do stuff? So, yeah. Jess, what do you think? Wait, what's what are her powers like? Actually, what are her powers? I don't remember. She's a water. She can swim really yeah. well. Yeah, she's we're gonna be on the island. She doesn't like mango jerky. Maybe she but get like, us off the island. Okay, is the goal of being yes. on the island to get <laughs> okay. off? Okay, okay. Wait, oh, wait. Can right, we start right. with this? No, no. The goal I is gotta to do my stay thing. on the island. I gotta do my thing. You do your thing. Okay, okay. First of all, is it an enjoyable island? Is it like an island that I want to be on? Let's say survival. Let's say that it's. Make it your home. These yeah. people you want to Because because right away the dragons could you could just wish I wish I right. was off this island. Uh, so I'm oh, looking okay. for a companion more than a uh, survival. It's about partner. friendship and companionship. Got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is so long. Sisu had some moments where I was like, I'm kind of annoyed of you. Oh. <laughs> so like I was like, you're too much. She needed friends. too much help herself. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Long. Cause Sisu had a family that she wanted to return to. Oh yeah. That's and, true. And uh, I, I don't want to take, I, I don't wanna take that away from her. Based on our votes, you know, you convinced me. I think it is Long. Okay. All right. He was also very funny. Sisu Long. was a little bit of a liability. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go down to parents. The first head-to-head -head matchup is the Thai Ma matchup. Mulan's dad or Nikki Shen's dad? Which Thai? It's a tie, guys, I don't know. <laughs> they both lost their daughter who went off to go fight. But I feel like this is very easy though. Why? Their personalities are so different. Mm -hmm. Like Thai Ma in Mulan is like, kind of like a tiger parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, But he ends up being listen, very, I guess. Nice at the end. But it took a long time. Like yeah. it took, mm -hmm. like, you know, hardship to get to that point. It's true. It's true. Kung Fu, you definitely have more time with him. Mm -hmm. So you definitely see more of yeah. his character and stuff. I mean, this is really a question about which period do you want to live in? Oh. Se okay, seventh century, you know, Chinese dad. Yeah. Do I want to have to explain things to this guy? <laughs> yeah. And catch him up? You know, his experiences were completely different. So the way he's bringing up a child would be very different than a warm, loving Thai from Kung Fu, which, you know, dumpling shot. Okay. okay. I'm going to go with Kung Fu Thai. Kung Fu Thai. You've convinced me too. Kung Fu Thai. Same, I'm convinced. Going to romantic leads. Yeah. We're gonna do the K-drama matchup. <laughs> Defer to Jessica. So honest. it is Eun Bin, aka Captain Ri in Crash Landing, or Kim Soo Hyun 
Moon Gang Te in It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Is this like, Ooh, is this like 2020 game? matchup? Yeah. This was hard. Is this like your dream to be ha no. to have to choose between? Well, you have a. <laughs> well, I have a preference already. You have a bias. Oh, wait, you have a bias. Yeah, yeah a bias. I have a bias. Oh. I don't care for Captain Reed. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. 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 But Why then, if we're trying to stay on this island long term, my initial was it's okay to not be okay, Kim Soo Hyun, because he works at a psych ward. Mm. So, like, it eventually, mm. he's yeah, yeah, yeah. there to, you know, be like a mediator for everyone. Like, if I'm trying to get off the island, I would 100%. Pick Captain Reed. Yeah, because he like he's a survivor and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. and survived. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. And it just so happens that it works out mm -hmm. with your bias. Yeah, you know. Are you trying to like repopulate the world? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh, God. Oh. We're the only four people left. There's a dragon, and then there's Kim Soo Hyun. Uh, and time off. <laughs> I already know who's gonna end up at the very end of this entire like bracket for yeah. for Jessica. <laughs> Just skip to the end. Easy. You should take bets. I don't know if we established yeah. that. You guys should predict what's gonna be the final four. Because I've only seen Crash Landing, and I felt very comforted by Captain Ray. He was always there. Yeah. Every time she was in need. Jessica is our K drama okay. resident. Her logic. You guys can pick. Your logic Captain makes sense Ray, to me. Okay. It's fine. It's our. It's all of our islands. So we're actually not alone. It's the four of us and one person, right? Yeah, let's think of that. Or is it we each have our own island? <laughs> no, we're on the same island. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, the four of us. Okay. But we, I guess, are making the decisions. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Captain Ree. All right, well, I'm sure you're happy. We're going to move on to fighters. And our first matchup in the fighter category is Nikki Shen from Kung Fu, Kung Fu versus yeah. Raya. Both very strong, both have a very dark past. Nikki has something mystical about hers, right? Whereas Raya is just a fighter, right? I mean, she's a warrior mm. princess. But she's a princess. I feel like because of where Raya grew up, she's already used to... Oh, sorry, let me back up. Mm. What kind of island are we on? Is it a tropical mm. island? <laughs> <laughs> Is it an Arctic <laughs> island? <laughs> These things matter. Right? I feel like it shouldn't be like a, a, an island that we're having trouble surviving on. I feel like it should be like a... So a tropical island. Tropical, and there's a lot of shade. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds great, no matter who yeah. we have. It's like, yeah. I'd be happy with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, we, we, uh, we, yeah, we would have fun anyways. <laughs> All right, so with that said, then, I think I would think that Rai is more accustomed, acclimated, to yes. the For environment. Sure. Sorry, Sorry, Olivia. You, got, you kind of have too many issues you got to work through first. Back to supporting characters. Okay, Ned from Spider-Man or oh. Han from Fast mm. 9. What a matchup. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird. <laughs> they're not fighting each other. Let's you know what, though? <laughs> they're both, they're both. <laughs> great, great franchises. Ned has also been in, oh no, Han's been in three now. Technically, he died in the second one. Okay, um, regardless of how he lived or not, he lived. Mm -hmm. He lived. So he he's a survivor, which makes him great for an island. Yeah, there's no cars mm -hmm. there. Though. I'd be worried about it. <laughs> 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 his, his power is, is only around cars. Yeah. I'd be, what can I do? What can I do? I'd be, worried about, car. I'd be worried about our, our snacks. That's I feel, what I was going to say. Feel, I feel like he'd eat all of our stuff. He eats a lot. He's always eating. <laughs> and but, without cars to play with, you know, what's he going to do? Sorry, wait, what has Ned done to help? Anyway, <laughs> no, he's, he's all tech. He's, he's tech the guy, guy in the chair. I feel like Ned has shown more of a like best friend quality, and, mm -hmm. and Han is like a I'll be here if you need me. But Just like, like Han quietly Solo. brooding. Yeah, but he was so sad boy after I mean after his love no. sacrificed herself. That happens. It makes sense. I would have more fun with Ned mm -hmm. than Han. I, I I would be like, oh hey, how's it going? Like, your small talk sounds hard. <laughs> and we're on an island, we want to be comfortable. You're always uneasy having to make small talk with one of the people. Yeah. Sorry, Han. You survived the franchise. You didn't survive lunch break though. Going back down to parents, we have Jake Choi from Single Parents <laughs> and James Sato. Sato? James Sato mm. from Always Be My Maybe. The dad from Always Be My Maybe. I think I'm gonna have to go with James. And he's a handyman, so like as you, you're building this island, mm -hmm. you have someone there to I mean, build specifically it. Help build it. HVAC. He's not. I mean, I, I would assume so that the, I would assume that the, he has general handyman skills, but I just want to point out his his specific role was HVAC. Not very still applicable. Use, still useful some somewhere somehow. Sure, sure. Yeah. And then, yeah. Jake was a little bit of a. You know what? He was a good parent. Yeah. But um, if we're looking for a parent parental role. Yeah, this I, is the role of the parent. I think I want someone that has a little bit more experience. Mm -hmm. You know. And he's like yeah. Jake's what? Like our age? Yeah. He's young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. James, it is. His name was Harry in All Is Maybe. Got it. Speaking of Harry, in the romantic leads, the next <laughs> matchup is Harry Shum Jr. from All My Life and Henry Golding 
from last Christmas specifically. Yeah. Both Chris, uh, you know, holiday movies. So we can't bring in Single by 30 into this. Cause I probably would, I mean, Peter from Single by 30, I don't want to <laughs> say it, but Harry's character didn't make it <laughs> in this movie. Neither did Henry. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, Wait spoiler! What are you doing? And the spoiler. It's been out for so long. It's been out He's for like, like I was two gonna years. Watch oh my god. It's spoiler alert. A lot of similarities between their characters, if you know what we mean. Uh huh. But then, from what I remember, Henry's character is more like a spirit, so he's like not even there. Whereas at least Harry was present for a little bit. I think Harry's. Love story had a lot more history and, and um, chemistry. Harry's character was also a chef, right? Mm. So you have someone to cook for you on the oh. island? At least for, for a time being, while he's there. We gotta disregard the alive or, or okay. not, right? Because sure. we, we dismissed it for Han. You're right. Well, it's because so, mm, he also came back yeah. too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who had a greater act of love? Harry? Harry. Yeah, I think so too. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go with whichever couple felt stronger, I'm gonna not choose them. Basically, I don't wanna take them away from their partner. Oh. So that's my logic. The nice, the nice thing. It sounds like it's Harry on this side. Yeah. I'm leaning towards Harry I now think it's too. Harry. The chef thing is a good point. Harry wins. Fighters, wow. Shang-Chi versus Snake Eyes. I haven't seen Shang-Chi yet, so how do I, I know? Him. Right. Isn't it clear like Shang-Chi has like powers? And not to say- Wait, I thought he just has he has rings. Still, like, that's, like, have you seen the rings? They float and they can shoot. Let's say it's Shang Chi without the rings. He's coming on the island. He, he, just he, he forgot the rings. They got, they got him at TSA. He's still a good fighter. He was training and, his own. Right. And, and not to say that someone without powers right. can't still be a superhero. I mean, Batman. What's oh, the deal with that so guy? So much angst. <laughs> Remember when he was training to fight Superman? <laughs> he, he just did pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be Shang-Chi. With Shang-Chi, I feel like we're getting a lot of baggage. Like, what if his dad oh. comes after him? Wait, hold on. Snake Eyes is like, has a mob coming after yeah. him. Yeah. I'm more about, uh, Snake Eyes at the end of the movie is mute. True. <laughs> like, that that would be, I, I don't sign. That small talk would be even harder, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm gonna go with Shang-Chi because he's more human. Like, just being able to joke around, you know, like he was with, with, um, yeah. Alfina. And I, I relate to his struggle, you know? Yeah. He's like between two. Yeah. Worlds, and you mean like human as in like connect with him, right? Smart Versus the, like just the wall. Snake eyes became this yeah, stoic. And, yeah, and um, he's on a mission. I feel like Shang Chi. All right, as you're chewing, we just wanted to give another quick shout out to our sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Man, I remember when Wang Fu was first starting out, I was designing the website by hand, learning the HTML, and it was such a pain, but now Squarespace makes it so simple. One of their features, Video Blocks, allows us to feature our video work super seamless and beautifully, and I can tell you that I would not have been able to do that back in the day on my own. There's no need to spend countless hours learning how to code a website like I did back in the day. There's templates that Squarespace offers that are super elegant and work seamlessly with any device. To learn more about the other features offered, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to finally make your website, make sure to use our code WONGFU at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Links are all in the descriptions below. Now let's get back to the episode. Back into supporting characters, we have Kimchi from Kim's Convenience versus Jason Mendoza from The Good Place. Oh God. Both fun, lovable characters, the best friends. Both oafs. Both, both kind of dumb. <laughs> no, but Jason Mendoza is actually one of the smartest characters in the show. You're right. Mm -hmm. I think because Jason Mendoza has already dealt with eternity. Mm. Oh. He'll be good to, mm. you know, be in the right mind place. He's already been stuck yep. in an island. I think that's it right mm -hmm. there. Whereas Kimchi's gonna be worried about, oh man, we're not being, we're not like, I'm, he has FOMO. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, He's gonna yeah, always yeah. have FOMO of what's happening on the mainland. Mm -hmm. It is hard to match, I think it'd be hard to match Kimchi's energy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> man, okay, so you don't, want, you don't want the small talk, <laughs> but you also don't want like big personality. You, when you have to start narrowing down, you gotta start picking at things. All right, all right. Jason. I'm sure Jessica's very happy about that too. Mm -hmm. Going back down to parents. We have Kim Ki Tae. Or Mr. Kim from Parasite. Versus oh my God. John Cho, David Kim from Searching. Are we getting pre daughter found or post daughter oh. found? Like he found them and then she joins the island or he's still looking? If, the, if it's the character of the movie, it is, he's currently looking. The, the dad from, from Parasite, Parasite is scary though. He's also bad, yeah, bad calls. <laughs> he made some very bad decisions, um, but also would do anything for his family as right. well. He's and he's already surviving. He's yeah. already isolated at, yeah. at the end of the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Also, he's fun. 
that you could party with this guy. He's the I, right amount of party for you. Remember that couch scene? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I, he still scares me though. That's, that's true. I feel like in the mi middle of the night on an island, you just see him turning on a flame, then yeah. turning it off. Then turning on a flame, then turning it off. Because that's how you do it, right? Turn on a flame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with John Cho on this one. I go with John Cho. Also, language barrier, right? All right. Yeah, you yeah, Sorry, I don't speak Korean. Mr. Kim's too much of a wild card for me. Yeah. John Cho, David Kim. Okay, next. Romantic leads. Lara Jean from To All the Boys or Ellie Chu and half of it. Mm, the Netflix movies. Yeah. Squaw Hamish. <laughs> Squaw Hamish. Squaw Hamish. <laughs> yeah, Lara is like more social. Ellie is like very introverted. I think. Which one do you want this time? <laughs> <laughs> are you looking to party or are you looking to hang out? Which one are you trying to do? I feel like with Lara, we've seen, she has more movies, so we've seen a little bit more of her. We know yeah. her personality mm -hmm. a bit more. She's growing up a lot. I'll go with Lara on this one. I, I'm gonna go with uh, Squaw Hamish. Lara. For I sure. I would want to be her friend more. What if you have to compete for boys with Lara? Oh, <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Oh. The, oh my god, what if she starts writing letters with. Um, Kim's and that's okay, okay. If they're happy, it's fine. It's okay. Oh. Wait, so it's Lara, Lara, Lara. Uh, Ellie. I'm gonna go with Lara. Why? I think there'll be more friends. Yeah, I'll be, okay. I'll be closer to Lara. Wow, you just want the popular girl. You picked her too. I think for different reasons. <laughs> I picked her for her growth as a person. She gets excited about like little things, you mm. know? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you call. You know? <laughs> oh, face masks. <laughs> You know? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, no, no, to be, no, be, to be honest, I don't even. I, I don't know if they're gonna even make it past the next round. I feel like I feel like Lara's a little spoiled. I'm sorry. Oh. Lara's a little spoiled. Ooh, there, there's the tea. Should we go back to Ellie? Maybe we go with Ellie. Yeah. I feel like Lara might be a little high maintenance on the mm -hmm, island. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? She always gets what she wants. She gets double what she wants. Yeah. No. Oh, Nine. And she doesn't. She, Nine. Right? Ellie. Yeah, you're right. I'm, you, you, yeah. Hey. Yeah, Ellie. Wow. wow. Last Ellie. minute. Wow. Yeah. That was Ellie Choo Choo. Fighter. Okay, Andrew Koji in Warrior Dude. or Karen Fukuhara in The Boys. The boys. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, dude. Karen Fukuhara is like a superhuman. And she has the rage. It like doubles her power. But then would you be like scared at night? It's like, oh, what if she actually kills me? <laughs> like, no, but yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's a wild No, but, yeah, no, but so is guy. Andrew. Andrew's, well, you're right. Andrew has loyalty. Like, yes. like Kimiko is like this, um, she's dangerous. She's, she's a danger to people around her too. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. sometimes it like takes over and she doesn't realize. But, but Assam is like, just so badass. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the hatchet man, Assam. Assam it is. Mm. Back to supporting. Ben from the Umbrella Academy versus Jimmy Woo from WandaVision. Okay, is this Ben like from right. season one and two? Cause then I wouldn't be able to see him. Just, mm. just but you could feel him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Jessica, is that what you want? <laughs> no. What does he go? He only no. talk to you. He's very cynical. Though. I don't want to be like a translator. Maybe. Like your identity would be tied to him. And that's what the romantic lead is for. Right. <laughs> so she's like, I already got my hands full with this other guy. Yeah. So sorry. And then man. she would talk about it with Ellie about her boy problems. It'd yeah. be perfect. Like Jimmy Woo right. is dependable, an entertainer with those card tricks. Yeah. All right. Next. Jimmy Woo. Davy's mom in Never Have I Ever. Hilarious. Or oh. Eleanor Young from Crazy Rich Asians. Dude, mom for up. sure, for sure Davy's mom. Shall Dude, she was so scary. Yeah. She was scary. Kind of ruthless. But she comes around. Like in the last five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Henry's not gonna be there to like back us up. Right. <laughs> We're just gonna get the full Asian mom like wrath from Eleanor. And Debbie's mom is actually like super lovable. Like, yeah. Mm. In that, in that I, show. Oh, but Eleanor has resources. Yeah. She does she, have resources. She is on an island already. Dang. Oh, yeah. And actually, we might actually be on her island. <laughs> we're, on, we're just yeah. on Singapore. We're just hanging out in Singapore. Let me get some supplies soon. <laughs> one, yeah, so one is a very um, kind of home, homey, suburban yeah. mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And the other one is like boss mom. Yes. Mm. Maybe you, you've convinced me. Boss mom is, is important. Mm -hmm. More important in this situation. In this situation? It'd be like the major. Suburban moms can be bosses. But she's a literal boss. <laughs> <laughs> but who are you gonna hang out with? See, you're not gonna hang out with Eleanor. You're just gonna be using her. Yeah, that's true. This is like hanging it'd be, out. Maybe like you try to establish that relationship, and it's like there's not much there. Yeah. I think you no. Know, actually, if this is deserted. She doesn't have the resources. Just like just like Lara Jean, we're like, oh, she's too high maintenance. Eleanor's gonna be super high maintenance. Mm. So I'm gonna go with Davy's mom. D Davy's mom would make the island work, and Eleanor would, would like make us work for yeah, the yeah, island. Yeah, it'd be like okay. <laughs> no. There's no context. Is what like we're stuck here and we gotta make this home. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. So I think Davy's mom would make a better mom for us. <laughs> so Davy's mom. Yeah, Davy's mom. All right. Okay, last romantic lead pair, Kevin Kreider from Bling Empire. 
<laughs> or Randall Park from Always Be My Maybe. Randall Park for sure from Always Be My Maybe. Easy. I'm sorry, Kevin, you're great, but you're just gonna be, you're gonna be useless. <laughs> <laughs> Your character. I know you as a person is much smarter in real life, but the way you're depicted in the show, you don't you're you're not the smartest tool in the shed in the show, and you're just gonna be sunbathing the whole time. Yeah. Randall Park's in a band. Mm -hmm. He raps. Uh, it's a lot of entertainment value. Next is Fighters. Benedict Wong from Doctor Strange or Lily Lin in Mortal Kombat. Liu Kang. Liu Kang or Wong? I think I'm going with Wong on this Wong. one. Easy. Yeah, I gotta go with Wong. Because he can those, those sorcerer, teleport. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're not doing that, right? But he could teleport on the island. Or at least it'd just be like views of places. We can't go to them. Yeah, we just, like, a, little, a little bit. Can I yeah. see? Little windows. Can yeah. I, yeah. Ludi's dealing with some like, you know, inter yeah, he's inner got, turmoil too. He's got some problems. Wong it is. All right, we found, we <clears throat> passed wow. round one. Wow, we're past, we're done with the first round. <laughs> John Cho versus Ned. Who do you choose? Wish Dragon. Wish Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's it's the powers. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're good. we're going for the powers right now. I feel I feel kind of bad, but yeah, we could we could fly with him. And, and I think we'll find we might be able to find the fun in another character. Going down to Dad's Kung Fu Dad or James from Always Been a Maybe or Harry. Which Dad? Harry from Always Been a Maybe. I still think it's Kung Fu because he can cook too. Yeah, and we've seen a lot Aww. more of him. He's very understanding. I do I do like the warmth of uh, Thai in Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thai it is. We, we know more about Ty just because it's a yeah. full series. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going to Lovers. Uh oh. Kim So Hyun. Oh, easy. Or Harry Shum Jr. All My Life. Kim So Hyun. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fast. Why let's think, about, let's think about, about this. You can't even about talk it. to Kim So Hyun. So? If I'm on this island forever, I might as well learn Korean. <laughs> <laughs> From him? First Dude, this is going all the way. We already know. <laughs> <laughs> like she's, she's who, wait, who would you guys She's literally going to drag us into it. No, you're right. Kim So Hyun won that one. Raya or Simu from Shang-Chi? Ooh. Oh, Shang-Chi. I don't know enough about Shang-Chi right now. It's yeah. true. I don't, I don't know what what like baggage he's going to bring to the, the island. Daddy issues. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, actually, what was Raya's main struggle? Just trusting people? Yeah, a lot of it was trust because of, you know, I mean, a lot of history there. Yeah. She lost her dad. But she got her dad back. Yeah. Well, she's, so she's good. <laughs> she's come around. She's good. I feel like Raya just wants to make her world peaceful, mm -hmm. whereas Shang Chi's like has to fight like the universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Actually, yeah. Raya's whole struggle, her whole goal, is aligned with what we want to do. You're right. Making yeah. the island a home for everyone. Oh. So it it's Raya. I think it's Raya. Back to supporting characters. Jason Mendoza, Good Place versus Jimmy Woo, WandaVision. If you're looking for the fun, I think this is where you have a little bit of fun. You, you keep Jason. I think it's Jason. Yeah. yeah, you keep Jason. Randall or Jimmy Woo was a little like... Really clean. Yeah, yeah. a little too 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 strict. High strung. High strung. Yeah. I like Jason. Yeah. It's also good looking. Who knows? Maybe this oh, could yeah, be it. <laughs> Maybe this turns into Love Island. <laughs> oh, oh no. Parents. We have John Cho searching and uh, Debbie's mom from Never Have I Ever. Davey's, Davey's mom. mom. I think we want that. I think we, we need that caring, yeah. loving. We She's, need a mother. When it comes to single agreement. parents, like she she was got it down. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. More. Yeah. So I think. Yeah. I mean, not to say <laughs> John Cho's character yeah. wasn't dealing with his own. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. They all they all their own yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah, John wasn't very focused. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got focused when he needed to. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Ellie Chu versus Randall Park. Yeah. yeah. Ellie Chu versus Half Randall. of it. Yeah. Oh. Versus. Always be on my maybe Randall. I think we were Randall because we we need a Randall. We need a Randall on the island, guys. We already lost a Randall. Yeah, we lost a Randall. Yeah. We need okay, a Randall. We need okay. Randall to make it through. Andrew Koji and Benedict Warrior. Or Benedict Wong. Probably Wong. Wong. Yeah. He's like the, the fun level. The window guy. thing is actually really. Fun. Yeah, and and I think I think like <laughs> now too. <laughs> he's he has like the martial arts like yeah. powers uh -huh. without the drama and the angst. Mm. Yeah. Assam is, is a little too, too angry. angry. It's yeah. too angry, yeah. yeah. Mm. We're gonna find the, the winner of the supporting characters. John Cho yeah. from Wish Dragon. Jason Mendoza is a good place. If, if he's not bound by the wishes, then I think Long he's is... He's very impatient. Yeah. Remember that traffic scene? <laughs> he got him to like, give up a wish. <laughs> Remember, like, it's kind of gullible. Yeah. Like, I feel like Jason would choose Long too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason, Jason would be like, choose the dragon. Yeah. yeah. No, Jason would choose like, oh, well, let's get the dragon. Oh wait, but then I can't be on it. Okay. But we get a dragon though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John Cho, Wish Dragon is the winner of the supporting characters. All right. He made it. Parents, Tai Ma from Kung Fu and Debbie's mom. Ooh. That's really hard. There's part of me that, that wants to say Davy's mom was like a little too strict, but maybe her loosening up 
would actually be really fun. I'm gonna go with Davy's mom. I, I, I feel like she can admit her own mistakes and she has fun and she's still growing as a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. She's still young at heart, yeah. too. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Davy's mom is the winner of the parents. Romantic leads. Kim Soo Hyun or Randall <laughs> Always be amazing. She's just like, like just, she doesn't care. She's just axing through everyone for Kim <laughs> I think it should be Randall Park. Why? Because of the musical thing. He's a very good entertainer. He's a, he sings too. He sings in another show. I know, we're only really talking about I one know. show. But think of your mental health. It's a good point. We're essentially choosing the representative for rom romantic lead. Yeah. Wait, then, well, no, but no, then this should be Randall. But Randall wasn't that romantic either. No, they had a scene. They had a, oh, they yeah, had a yeah, scene. he's a lover. So ha he, 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 picked her, he picked Ali Wong up. You guys just want Randall. <laughs> you just want Kim Soo Hyun? <laughs> What's Kim Soo Hyun's character's name? Hey, oh wait, Moon. <laughs> this is gonna be an issue. You don't even know his name. It's Randall. It doesn't matter. No. You don't even know his name. You would. You would. <laughs> yeah. We don't know either of their characters' names. I mean, if this is gonna keep Jessica happy. You know. Yes, yeah. Yeah. If, you know what? <laughs> yeah. if forever, <laughs> if forever, <laughs> if Jessica's whole... just stewing. <laughs> you didn't let me have <laughs> Kim Soo Hyun. She holds against yeah. us forever on the island. Yeah. All right. All right. Kim Soo Hyun. That's just like, to keep you happy. It's like we got you a puppy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Fighters, Raya versus Wong. I think I would go with Raya. The, the whole but goal that, thing is that. really important. But we have the dragon. <laughs> yeah. We have the dragon for that. You know, she she, yeah. she was already acclimated to this area. Mm. She wants to be a good ruler, a good um, she peacemaker. She like, the best community. Yeah. 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 Benedict literally like, where was like, where are you going? I'm gonna go. Go no. ahead and say him. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> he left us! <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Raya is our fighter. Oh no, final okay. four. I like that. Final four. I think I can already decide who my number one pick is, so. Yeah, I don't think we even need to do head to head. At this point, I'm yeah. going with my original thesis. Raya, you're the one for us. You're our leader and our friend and our fighter. I might go dragon. I might go dragon. I can go Raya. You're not even going Kim Soo Hyun. <laughs> <laughs> I was very shocked. <laughs> I'm very shocked right now. His, his usefulness has, 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 has left. If I'm trying to survive now, it's Raya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be. Let's let's put this into the real world as much as we can. There's no magic. Okay, so actually, let's take the dragon out. Or wait, sorry, wait, wait. wait. Well, then he's, what a, is it? he's a dragon, but he doesn't wait, grant wishes. Right. Or no, it was John before he turned into a, a dragon, wasn't it? He the old emperor? man. Oh, oh emperor. yeah, yeah. He yeah he got reincarnated as. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have to take off long. I think we have to take out the like just go by people. We have Davy's mom, Kim Soo Hyun, and Raya as people that we are hanging out with. If we have to do that, then it has to be Raya. Yeah, that's the only one. I guess I guess it's Raya. We did. Raya, yeah. you win, Raya. 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 All right, all right. Raya Kelly Marie Tran. <laughs> all right, wait. Take away, take away the tropical whatever, and it's just like literally a deserted island mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. You know you're gonna die there. Kim Soo Hyun, huh? <laughs> Even you that. <laughs> When I, when I saw the, the names, I was like, oh, I don't think it would be Raya, but it turns out. I'm just glad that we have a growing, robust, stable of amazing Asian characters, multidimensional, that we could even debate this. Yeah. That we know enough about their characters to actually even debate this. Five years ago, 10 years ago, it would have been like, oh, they had, they yeah. had one scene. This list would be not existent. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm grateful for. Yes. That we could even have a bracket. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for making this, Taylor. You guys should play this at home. Was, yeah, you guys. Uh, hey, we'll, yeah, we'll release this bracket for you guys to, to, to check out. But yeah, let us know who made your top four and who's your number one in the comments down below. Thank you to Connie to be our plus one today. We are sporting our new collection from the Nara store. Check it out, guys. Dude, these Nara designs store. are made from uh, friends of ours, artists, and each design has a different story behind it. Check it out, narastore.com. Lunch breaks are every other Thursday, so we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.